Hey guys, how you doing? So I ran into somebody recently who is in their late 60s and their backs are against the wall financially. Some bad luck, they didn't save, they didn't invest when they're young. So they're 70 years old and, well, getting close to it anyway, and they're in trouble. And they have other troubles that are even greater than financial. So let's jump into it. I'll answer that obvious questions. Can you code and make money late in life? Of course you can. Now, if you're 60, 70, looking at this, chances are you want to go the freelance route. And there are lots of opportunities. A lot of baby boomers now are starting businesses and they're going to need websites. They're going to need help with getting their social presence online. So there is money to be made, whether it be working part-time or whatnot. The great thing about the coding and the development game is that it's not a physical thing. It requires a little mental energy and uh, ability, but I think most of us can get there. So I'm going to give you a few tips in this video on how to approach this. I assuming you're in later in life, later in age, you got yourself into some trouble. I did a video related to, to, to this so about a year or so ago, maybe two years ago, 15 broke, can you learn to code? And I gave you, I gave uh, an outline what you have to do. I'm going to cover it here again and add a little, a few more tidbits, uh, something I hadn't covered before. So let's, uh, we'll just jump into it. If you're younger, this will be useful for you too, because these are life lessons that the earlier you implement these things, if you implement them when you're in your teens or your 20s, well, maybe you know, 18 plus, 20, the far better off you're going to be later on down the line. For me, I figured this stuff out, and then I was able to semi-retire when I was very, very young. So let me just jump into it. So the first thing you got to do when you're really old and you're broke and uh, you don't know what you're going to do is you got to get yourself in shape. I know it seems counterintuitive. What is this? I want to learn about coding. It all relates. Don't worry. Sound body, sound mind, right? Sound body, sound mind. If you're overweight, you got arthritis, you got type 2 diabetes, whatever it is, migraines, these are typically related, 80% of illnesses are related to what they call metabolic disorder, meaning you don't eat good food and you don't move around enough. So the first thing you got to do when you're older, you got to get your health going in the right direction. The great thing, if you cut out the crappy food, the, 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 the breads and the sugars and the pop and, the pop and too much ca coffee and uh, you eat natural healthy foods rather than processed foods, no more seed oils, you do that drink water, your health is going to improve within a short period of time. It could be months. You're going to start feeling major benefits. Your energy will shoot up. Brain clarity will shoot up. Aches and pains will begin to diminish. Medications will, di will diminish. You can go watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos. People talk about this. Point is, eat healthy food. You are what you consume, right? So eat natural healthy foods. Our bodies evolved through millions of years of evolution on natural foods, not processed foods. I love Big Macs. They're my favorite. KFC, food of the gods, but they're terrible for you. They make you sick. It's a slow-acting poison. No sugars, no pop. Get rid of that stuff. Trust me, you start feeling better. That's number one. You start thinking better. That's number two. You got to also exercise. You got to walk around, do stuff. Now, I don't know what your physical condition is, your medical conditions. I'm not your doctor. I'm not a doctor. So you got to check into all this. But trust me, bottom line, point number one, you got to start moving in to better health. Better health means more energy, means more mental clarity, which means you can power up to start earning more. So you got number one going, you get that process going. This is all process, by the way. Staying healthy is a process, so don't feel rushed into it. Don't go crazy jumping over the cliff. Just get into it, start cutting out the bad stuff. Another thing you should do is extricate yourself from a psychologically damaging environments, people that are toxic, environments that are toxic, whatever you ingest, whether it be food, uh, liquids, water's best, uh, and people. You want to be around people who are encouraging, nice, huge. But people are always insulting you, people who are toxic to you. It, it affects you in a bad way. So you got to get, that's number two. The basic principles, you want to ingest quality, quality food, quality people, quality entertainment. If you're on Twitter or the news and it's all doom and gloom, get away from that. It's affecting you. Trust me, it's affecting you in a bad way. All right, let's get into a bit of financial advice. You have to start looking at your expenses. Look at what you're spending your money on every month 
and start cutting all the non-essential. You'd be amazed of how much money you waste on streaming services or getting $7 lattes, uh, whatever it is. You got to start looking at all these things and start cleaning things up in a big way. Eating out, no good. In terms of food, by the way, seed oils like canola oil and corn oil and mayonnaise, that's just, that's poison. So it's very slight but very impactful poison, especially as you get older. A lot of people lose their... If they, uh, excuse me, if they clean up their diet, get rid of the processed foods, eat healthy, natural foods, things like type 2 diabetes will disappear. Uh, fibromyalgia will disappear. Headaches and migraines disappear. Uh, eczema will disappear. It's, it's crazy. Just go watch a bunch of YouTube videos, people doing keto, carnivore, uh, removing processed foods, cutting out sugars. It's amazing what we'll do. If you don't have health, forget about wealth. You need health for wealth. I'd rather be poor and healthy than rich and sick, right? So get healthy, number one. Number two, no toxic environment. Number three, exercise. All right, we got those things covered. Finances, you want to cut out the unnecessary stuff. All the expenses, even if it's 10 bucks a month, get rid of it, get rid of it. It's an emergency situation. You got to you gotta get on top of it, okay? So you got to cut out all the excess spending. Trust me, when you get rid of the excess spending, a lot of times you're like, you may miss it for the first month or two, but after a while, you're like, I don't know why I spent all this money. It's stupid. So that's, uh, that's, in, that's I don't know, it's not number three or so. Whatever. That's that point. So get rid of excess unnecessary expenses. And do what you can. I know not everybody can do everything, but do what you can. Even doing one thing, it's about a habit going that direction. Uh, you want to get rid of credit card debt. So you consolidate credit cards. Um, move them from credit card A to B if they got a lower rate. Sometimes if you move your, your credit card debt from one credit card from MasterCard, say, to Visa, Visa oftentimes will say, well, we'll give you a very super low interest rate or zero interest rate for the first six months. So you, you do that. I used to, my friend used to do that. He's, I, he called it credit card surfing, or maybe I did. But anyway, it had a huge role because it removed that debt. So you got to get rid of the, These are all pressures that are affecting you emotionally and psychologically. So these are going to impact your ability to earn to begin with. So... These are things you got to do. Emergency situation stuff. Okay, how about coding? Is there hope? You say, is there hope, Steph? Is there hope? People call me Uncle Steph on the web, so is there hope, Uncle Steph? Well, you might be older than me. I'm getting pretty old, but you might be older, so, or my age. You Let's amend that statement. Is there hope, Cousin Steph? So Cousin Steph says, oh, there's lots of hope, because once I figured out the processes I'm describing to you here, within about... Uh, a few years, I forget, the, it's been so long now, but within a few years, I found myself financially, like, semi-independent financially, was able to semi-retired. You can do it too. Now, of course, if you're older, a little more difficult, maybe, depending on your background, but again, the health is so important. So anyway, so now, we got those things going in the right direction, your health, uh, your detoxifying your environment, uh, drinking water, exercising, getting rid of unnecessary expenses. The next thing you want to do is the skill sets. You got to get the skill sets. I assume if you're in later in age, you have some skills. You may, I don't know, you're a bookkeeper, maybe you have a good construction background. I don't know, but you have some skills. That's a benefit. So if you get into coding, which again, it's great for doing as you get older. Why? Because coding is not physical. You can do coding until the day you die. You can be, you know, boo, 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 and you, you're fine. Right, well, you're dead then, but you get the idea. You can keep coding for a long time, which is great. So um, either part-time or full-time. Great thing about coding, and it has been since the 90s when I started, it's always been a profession where it's been acceptable that you can work remotely. Now, post-COVID, this is even more so a possibility. It's more so, it's actually pretty much, it's very common now. So let's say you had a background in construction and you know construction business, but you can't work construction anymore because you're old and your back's sore. Again, losing weight, doing a good diet, clean yourself up will help with your back. You can get into stretching. Again, you can go watch videos and learn more about that stuff. That being said, with that background in construction, I'm sure you know people, if you develop good web design skills and web marketing skills, and you're told you how many months, it's a few months of work, you can get going with entry-level stuff. Uh, then you can start maybe approaching people you may know and offering your services. You know, maybe at first it may be cheap, but you know, you build up some skill, build up some reputation. Next thing you know, you're doing fantastic. These lessons, uh, by the way, apply to people who are 18 years old to uh, 75 years old. The key though is the health, right? The health before mental, physical. 
So that's how you do it, really. Freelancing, to me, is the way to either a freelance business or a freelance career, or it's the way to getting a job. Because people hire those who have experience. The freelance strategy that I teach is the route, the quickest route, to finding yourself in a professional context, meaning where you're valuable to somebody as a professional. It doesn't mean you have to be hardcore coding where you're building games or back engines. It could be things like putting people's WordPress sites up or their blog sites up, setting up their Wix set up, uh, sites, all kinds of different things that can be done. So the key is, as with, as with everything else in life, if you're older and you're watching this, you know this to be true, it's fundamentals. Mastery of the fundamentals is key. With the web development and why I pick web development, it offers the widest range of opportunity, by far, of all the coding. Web development, uh, again, maybe about 300 hours of work, and you find yourself where you can start doing entry-level work, and then you really learn. Development is like uh, coding, programming, all the different types. You really learn it on the job. Most people, that, not most, everybody learns it actually doing. So the key is just to get to a point where you have good fundamental knowledge and then you build up from that in the real world. That's how my whole mentoring program, my boot camp operates. We get people with their fundamental skills. They get their portfolio site up and then they go out and do two to three small free freelance projects. So that's the next step for you. You get your fundamental skills. Then you go out and do two to three small freelance projects for free. Little jobs that might take you three, four days to do. This is, this is so that you can develop the skills to do it. So excuse me, you do this, the freelance project, so you develop experience, you develop, uh, then you're going to have some real life projects that you can put on your portfolio site, that you can show people, look, I've actually put together real work for real companies. This has a huge impact in terms of um, how marketable you are as a professional. You never know where this is going to lead. I have people in my program of all ages, and some people are doing full-time development as programmers for very large corporations. Other people are freelancing, you know, all over the place, all these different languages. So there you go. Yes, uh, better to get this done younger than older. Who's fooling who? But you can set yourself up following those steps, get healthy, blah, 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 get those fundamental skills down, get the portfolio site, start reaching out. So you can start making money working at your computer without having to go anywhere, without having to break your back. Yeah, you'll be in a good situation. So it is doable. So in conclusion, yes, you can learn to code even in your 60s and 70s, but you have to follow the steps I outlined. And it starts with the fundamentals of getting healthy. And by the way, you can do things concurrently, meaning you can start getting healthy as you cut down your expenses, as you start learning how to code, etc. and so on and so forth. You don't have to do one step before you get to the next. You can do these things at the same time. And uh, the best time to start is now. You know, best time to start is now. I hope this is useful. If you have any questions, uh, put them under this video. If you're interested in my mentoring program or my solo self-paced learning courses, check them out below. If you're looking into this, whether you use my courses or my training program or anybody else's, don't get discouraged. I suggest that you start pursuing it today. Start with maybe just 20 minutes a day. Watch a couple of videos on how to eat healthily. And it doesn't have to be complex. Just cut out processed foods. Just eat natural foods that nature, that nature provides. That's really it. Start walking a little bit every day. Start learning about coding a little bit every day. Even do free stuff. Whatever it is, just get the ball rolling in the right direction. And this is going to serve you well. My program is not the only one in town. I happen to believe it's the best one, but it's not the only one. So don't feel that to follow this program requires you to do my program. These principles work no matter what you decide to do. I hope this is useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Uncle Steph. And again, look below the video for links to my various things. And uh, if you have questions, under the video. We'll talk soon.